Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on JBob and Sons, I'm going to show you how to extract a soccer sticker out of a PSA slab. So you may have seen soccer stickers like this one, um, sometimes sitting in there sideways. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. However, Penny, um, PSA is doing a great job of actually putting them in a second holder that keeps them centered, but you do get these air pockets, which looks kind of ugly to me, honestly. Um, you can kind of see, you can push it around, so there's like some air pockets in there. However, the, you know, it does look nice and centered, so that's the trade-off, I guess. But this one here is a PSA 5, um, but the sticker inside to me looks like it's a lot nicer than a PSA 5. So I decided to take this, take this card, um, uh, the sticker rather, out. So I'll show you what I do to do that uh, in this sort of tutorial video. This sticker is a pretty important one to me. This is Erling Holland. This is considered his rookie. Uh, it's foosball, uh, Panini foosball. And so I'm gonna get it out. So uh, what I do is uh, I got pliers and some flathead screwdriver. And uh, it's pretty simple. You just sort of cut the corners off and you pry this open with the flathead screwdrivers. But it gets a little tricky inside. So first off, I'll just nick one of the corners. And it does take some pressure, but with these type of with this type of pliers, you do usually get a nice clean cut. Then I'll take the flathead screwdriver, just start to work my way in, and I'm doing this with plenty of time. Like I take my time here. I'm not doing this in a hurry. Um, you know, you 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 absolutely can destroy the the sticker doing this, you guys. So I don't recommend doing this, um, you know, all the time. But in this case, there was, you know, for me, compelling reason to get it out, get the sticker out. Um, and so uh, I, I'm deciding to do this. So so I, I was able to get the flathead screwdriver in there a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other top corner. And you want to cut, cut these corners that are the furthest away from the sticker. So I'm not going to do this at the bottom two corners, definitely at the top. And I'll push in here with the flathead screwdriver some more. And when I do get it in there, I'll just give the screwdriver a twist, just like this. And when I do that, I'll get the leverage that allows me to start cracking open this case. So again, start working my way down and ever so carefully <laughs> and taking my time, of course, just to get this to get this case off. So. You can see how I'm holding the screwdriver as well. Um, I'm holding it in a way that no matter what, it's not going to go into the case very, very far. Um, you don't want to hold it at the handle because guess what you could possibly do? You could accidentally push that whole screwdriver right into the uh, compartment where the sticker is. So I do hold it in a special way. You can see I've already gotten um, a lot of the case coming apart. So I'll go ahead. Go ahead hold that screwdriver again the way I do to make sure it doesn't go in and just keep working my way down the case. So you can do this um, on both sides, but at this point you might be able you might be able to just pry it apart and, and, and if you get too much pushback, like it's just not going to budge, then you just go back to the other side and keep working on it. Now older cases, the sticker is just going to be sitting right there, so there's a compelling reason to just keep working twisting motion, getting the leverage in there. There's compelling reason to just keep doing this. Um, however, um, you are a little bit safe at this point because the sticker is inside another additional sort of holder that um, a PSA is doing currently. And I think they're doing that just to keep these, um, there you go, to keep these centered. So here you have it. The main case is off and now you can see the inner case that they've done with these stickers. Now this is going to be, this is the real tricky part. So like I said, newer PSA slabs, they're coming back like this. It's a hard plastic. It still has some flexibility and it looks like they're sort of heat sealing it inside. Now the issue with it is that it does sort of trap in air and so you do get these bubbles and <clears throat> you saw that at the beginning of the video. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna at this stage this is danger zone you guys this is danger zone this is a very important sticker for this player so I'm just gonna take my time and very carefully seam by seam try to take this 
um, outer plastic off. And um, again, at this point, um, this is going to be pretty tricky. And if you're going to do this, um, do it at your own risk, absolutely, because a lot of potential here. It doesn't take much. And trust me, I know <laughs> I have some friends that uh, actually work for PSA, and it doesn't take very much at all for the grade to be diminished uh, with these soccer stickers. So um, they are very delicate to begin with, and so um, that's that's a huge concern. So any sort of nick, any sort of corner ding or bend in the sticker is going to bring it down. And that may be the case of why this particular sticker got such a low grade. But like I said, I kind of wanted to just get it out and um, save it and store it away um, without it being in that PSA 5 case. So, so here we go. Um, like I said, very important sticker for Erling Holland, one of my, you know, kind of a player I'm PCing for sure right now. Um, so let's do this. So we're very carefully, let's see if we can get, pry this apart. Um, let's see, yeah. So just kind of getting my thumbnail in there. And luckily for me, it looks like this top seam is going to be coming apart pretty easy. So the heat seal on this doesn't appear to be too terribly um, strong. However, down this side, so the top is sort of freed up. Now this side seam though is a little bit tougher. So I'm going to start maybe on the other side. It does seem to be coming apart a little bit more here on this side. However, on this right side it's a little tough. Now, like I said, I'm able to get now the top seam is loose. I'm going to get my sleeves ready and um, I, I usually put soccer stickers in top loaders, not, um, and, you know, not in a card saver and I'll kind of tell you why I do that. Um, so I'm going to keep working at this, working on this, see if I can start from the bottom. Actually, I'm going to work back up from the top. So the top seam is, is completely loose. I'll see if I can still work on these side seams. So this is like a hard plastic. It's still it's like a hard harder plastic. It's still soft though. So I'm going to see if I can start at the bottom seam here. And I'm just taking my time working around the edges. Um, yeah, being really careful. This bottom seam is really tight. So it, it does seem a lot stronger the seam here. So there's really no guarantee whether or not it's going to be really easy for, to do this. I wouldn't recommend trying to cut these seams out. You're just too awfully close to the sticker. So the only way to do this is just to gently see if you can pry it. So the bottom seam is still just too tough. I can't quite get it. So let's see. So the top seam is off. Let's see if I can actually just pry it back, but I'm going to try to be really careful because the sticker is just right there. Let's see if I can pull up. So I'm pushing down on the bottom part of the plastic and I'm going to lift up on the top, but I'm not going to go too far. Yeah. So the side seams are pretty tough. They're coming up part just a little bit but I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull as hard as I can on that. So, but I do think that might be enough. Um, the seam on the right seems, yeah, the seam on here on the right has definitely come apart. So I have the top seam and now the right seam, but now I have access to the sticker. So I think it's time. I'm not going to, yeah, I can't, that's too tough. I don't want to, damage it. I don't want to damage it in any way. So I do have access to the sticker. There it comes. So two out of the f one, two, three, four. So two out of the four seams and we have removal. So there it is. And I'll be honest, this thing looks gorgeous. Um, I'm looking for corner dings. I'm looking for surface issues. 
Sometimes that's a huge killer for stickers, for soccer stickers. I'm not seeing anything really majorly wrong with this sticker, you guys. So definitely to me, it's worth it more to me outside of a PSA 5 case. So, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do, how I store these. Yeah, the back looks really good too. So I have no idea how this got a PSA 5, but we'll, we'll go ahead and store it. Um, maybe a little top edge issue here. Yeah, hard to say. So how I store stickers, you guys, is first, we're going to put it in a penny sleeve. So 100% uh, the stickers go in a penny sleeve. Now, a lot of controversy on this. And I know some people are pretty adamant. They will use a regular trading card to assist in pushing a sticker inside of a penny sleeve down into a card saver one. Now, um, I absolutely do not recommend that. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity for bending the sticker and damage, and maybe not for you if you know how to do it, but for like if you're setting it in to get graded, what if the grader isn't very good at extracting a, penis, a sticker in a penny sleeve um, that's in a card saver one, which has some flexibility. So what I like to do is just go ahead and um, take, you know, try to get it centered inside the penny sleeve and I'm going to just drop it into a top loader. And now if I were to submit this to PSA, this is this is exactly how I submit soccer stickers to PSA. So I actually keep them um, in a penny sleeve inside a top loader. And I'll take that whole top loader and usually put that inside of like a team bag. So it's completely sealed off. So um, might be a little bit of overkill, but it's the way I've had success uh, submitting soccer stickers in the past. So, so there we go. Uh, penny sticker, sticker inside the penny sleeve, inside the top loader. Um, if I was going to submit this, I would actually put this whole thing into a team bag and then seal that up so I wouldn't be worried about it, anything falling out of the top loader. And there you have it, you guys. So we did it. <laughs> we did it. Um, hope you found this video useful. Um, this is good. This video is going to be, you could, you know, extract stickers out of other uh, cases as well. But this is the current status of PSA cases. A lot of this uh, newer submissions are coming back inside that secondary sleeve, um, inside that secondary case. And that's going to be the real trick. Um, I was lucky I got two of those seams to release. So I was able to get the sticker out. Um, but I haven't done too many of them like this. So, um, but yeah. So there it is, inside the team bag, ready to go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, you guys. Um, appreciate you watching, as always. Um, please stay safe out there, um, and I'll see you on the next one.